Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we're talking all about some interior design trends that are maybe a little bit dated but are definitely worth keeping. Now before we get started, be sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. Now let's get into the video. The first trend that maybe is a little bit dated, people like to tell you to get rid of, but you definitely should save and keep, is actually wood, wood trim, wood details, any sort of built-in feature in your home that is made out of wood or is stained. Wood is always going to be in, it's always going to be popular, and we really like it. Sometimes painted wood in brighter spaces may be the current trend, but that doesn't mean it's worth getting rid of the wood because there really is not much going back after that. It's very messy and a difficult job, so be sure if you have wood, you are saving it and you're looking for ways to update it or get creative with what you have. The really amazing feature, the thing about wood that makes it so great is you can refinish it and you can have people come in, they can sand it, they can strip it, they can restain it. Wood is easy to update with just the surrounding colors, the furniture you bring into the space. If you have an area in your home that's really dark because it's all wood, Wood, add in some lighter tones, a lighter rug, lighter drapes to really brighten and freshen the space up, bring some mirrors in to bounce some more light around, and that wood won't feel as dark as it maybe was. So definitely look at what you can do to the wood in your space before you just jump into painting it. And some wood can be painted and there's nothing wrong with that, but be sure you're taking the consideration to see what can you do to salvage this before you just opt to paint over it. Something else, another data trend we need to save that is worth keeping that people love to paint is actually red brick. Now be in the interior environment, red brick can be really amazing and it actually contrasts really beautifully with a lot of different styles. It can have a very rustic traditional feel and juxtaposing that with a modern piece of furniture can actually feel really interesting and very current. It can have a moody feel to it. Look at simplifying it, streamlining it and saying take some of the things away from it because it can actually have a really really amazing industrial feel to it that's really beautiful. Don't just think you have to paint over or get rid of brick because it's dark or because it's red or whatever. Brick can actually be so beautiful and amazing in a lot of different homes and styles and spaces. Brick is really fantastic if you've got like a cool mid-century fireplace, if it takes up an entire wall. Even a lot of brick that was done in like the 1980s can actually be pretty interesting and look pretty good. So just think about how you can style that around, do a little bit of homework to see what other people have done with red brick and you can definitely definitely do that too and elevate, upgrade the space without having to paint or change anything. We actually need to talk about something that is not maybe the biggest trend right now, but definitely will be in the coming years, and that's Victorian. Victorian everything, furniture, accessories, decor, all of it, I think is really amazing when it's mixed with other interior design styles. And that's really where these pieces are going to become so popular and trendy because we're just really loving mixing antiques with modern pieces. You know, in my home, I definitely look to do that. I maybe don't go for Victorian. I'm a little bit more into like colonial and Regency era pieces, but I definitely love a really traditional, historic, antique piece. I think that's really great when paired with something more modern or more current, contemporary, made today type of thing, I think that's really beautiful. And that's where Victorian is really gonna take off and we are going to see it become so much more popular. So if you've got that like one-off piece you inherited from someone that you're like, eh, it's not really my style right now, but you know, it's a good piece of storage so we have it in the other room, keep it there because it will become so popular. Be on the lookout for them. If you see a good deal, snag it, snatch it up if you really like something like that. A trend we loved the last couple of years but is fading into to the background now, but is worth keeping is actually boucle. Now I actually talked about this in my trends that are going to be dated for 2023 video, so I will link that for you up here in the cards and down below. Be sure you check that out. But boucle is one of the things I really like because of its textured nature, because of the element, the layer it brings to a space. The issue is when you overdo it. So you don't want every single thing in your room to be boucle. You don't want every single thing in your house to be a textured fuzzy like fabric, but boucle can be great for an 
an accent piece of furniture or even a throw pillow. These are really fantastic textures to bring into the space because they layer in and add a rich element. Right now in this year, we're going to see mohair and velvets become more popular, which I think is great. They're classic finishes. Don't overdo them. Layer them into a space gradually and they will definitely feel more timeless. But that means a lot of these boucle pieces are going to be available on the resale market. So if you see one that you really like, you don't have any of it or your space is not already full of it, it's something worth considering bringing into the space. I do like it. I think it's really great. I love that textured element. And you know, I'm like literally sitting on a boucle sofa right now in the studio here because I love it. And I love the white nature of this specific piece, which is also linked in the description box down below. But boucle is really beautiful when it's a really good quality fabric. So look out for that. And be mindful of the fact that a lot of white boucle may not work best in every household. If you've got kids running around that are making a mess, if you've got dogs jumping on the furniture, it can just show a lot of those spots and stains like any white piece of furniture would. So keep that in mind. Speaking of dogs jumping on furniture, actually, there's someone who wants to come and say hello and share some special news with you. Give me just a second, we'll be right back. <gasps> there he is, baby boy Albert. What did you wanna tell everyone? Oh, so you're not speaking today, okay. Well, Albert wanted to let everybody know that yes, his birthday was in December. He is a Christmas pup and he officially turned 18 years old and in people years, or I guess in People years, he's 18. and dog years, he's 88 years old. He's 88. And eight is a lucky number. So he's 18 in people years. He's 88 in dog years. That's three eights. So this is Albert's lucky year, everyone. Isn't it, pup? <laughs> what, you don't want to do a lot? You just want to go down. I know you're not happy because I woke you up from your nap. I know. I know, I know, I know. You're a little old man. You're my little old man. That's cute. Okay, we're gonna let Albert go back and hang out with his brothers, and we're gonna get back to the video. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about something I said was gonna be a trend for 2023, and people get rid of all the time, but we need to save because it will actually be so classic in the style, is that is tile countertops. I would not install tile countertops today. It's not my style. I don't think it has the most clean ability with the grout lines and everything, not for me. But if you have those tile countertops that are an interesting color, that are in good condition, they might be worth saving because they actually can be architecturally significant. They can lead a space to having a very specific feeling and style. They can feel very cottage-like, and I think that is fantastic. Some of the tile countertops you see from like the 80s and 90s that are like the white ceramic, we can let that go. I feel like that's not adding a ton to the space or anything we really need. So if you're in the position where you have that and you're like, Garrett, I wanna get rid of it, I say go for it and put something more interesting or current into the space. But if you really like your tile countertops, lean into that style, bring even more of it into the space, especially if you have colored tile countertops. I say if you have it in a space, you look at it like a retro bathroom, bring even more of that color into the space. Look for a wallpaper that features that, paint the walls, have the colors matched, bring even more of that in your accessorizing into the space because it can be so interesting and just feel very warm and cozy, very cottage-like, which we all enjoy. Even if it's maybe not for us and I don't want to live in a cottage, I can definitely appreciate the aesthetic. And I definitely feel that they are going to become so much more popular in 2023. I feel like we're also going to start seeing people replicate this. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we will see where the year brings us. Something I am seeing on social media quite often and is something we need to be careful about is actually people removing built-in storage and closets. There is a reason homes have built-in storage and closets and that's for storage space. So this is a trend you need to be careful about if you are thinking of. If you have a space where you need a closet, like in a bedroom, it's nice to have a closet to store things in. That's a good place to keep a closet and not turn it into open shelves or a desk. But in a kitchen, if you have like an extra pantry space that you're really not using, turning that into a coffee bar would actually add more usable space into your kitchen and that can be a good thing. So Keep in mind where these storage built-ins are 
and think about whether or not you want to keep them or get rid of them or replace them. It's a trend to get rid of them to create more usable spaces. If you don't really need to build out a desk or a dry bar into the space, keep the closet because you might need that storage. And if you're considering getting rid of those things like a closet, like built-ins, look to add storage in other areas of your home. You don't want to be in the position where you're like, we need to put in a bar right there because it would be so amazing. And then you have nowhere to store all of those extra things you want to hide away like extra decor accessories pillows blankets all of that I mean you don't want to get rid of a coat closet if you need it right converting some of these built-in features to things like dry bars and desks can be a very very cute idea but it may not be the most practical in every home Something that I definitely think will become popular in the next year to two years and people are getting rid of that we need to save is actually oil rubbed bronze. Now you all know in my home, I'm a brass person. I just like the contrast, I like the boldness of it. And someone actually commented and said, Garrett, for a person that doesn't like yellow, you use a lot of gold and that's kind of like yellow. And I absolutely agree. Apparently I just love yellow and I love that for me, but it may not be for everyone and that's okay. Oil rub bronze, I feel, will become more popular and a little bit more trendy because if you look at the way trends work and the way they have been working for the last few years, we're progressively moving back in time. So we really liked 1960s mod, 1950s mid-century. Right now we're into this like 1930s, 1940s Danish modern period, which is really chic. But what comes after the 1930s? The 1920s and Art Deco, which featured a lot of bronze hardware, specifically in light fixtures and door handles, all of that is really fantastic. And a lot of people have oil rub bronze in their home already. And we're actually seeing it become even more popular online because people are getting unlacquered brass that's then patinaing and tarnishing and it just is getting that look to it. And people are actually opting for faux finishes so they don't have to deal with the polishing because they like the look of the tarnish, but to a certain point, all of that has the undertones of oil rub bronze, which has this really luxurious deep brown like tone to it. And that actually works in a lot of different spaces. So if you have a space that is very warm in nature, warmer colors and tones, beiges, ivories, browns, even greens, oil rub bronze can feel really sympathetic to the space. And I think that's really great. If you're looking for hardware that blends in, that doesn't have a harsh contrast like brass and chrome and black can have, oil rub bronze might be that thing for you. And I think it's fantastic. I probably won't bring it into my home because it's not what I personally like. So I don't mind if brass gets dated because I really like it and that's fine, but it's going to become more popular. So I definitely think if you have it, be on the lookout for safe it or even adding more to the space, but you want to be careful about the style of the actual hardware and the finishes because oil rub bronze became very popular with like Tuscan design and Mediterranean design, which is maybe not the direction we're leaning in the most. So be on the lookout for that and the style of the pieces. Also wrought iron, a lot of the Spanish revival style is becoming so much more in demand right now. So if you have it, save it because it's going to be harder to find in my opinion. Opinion, and we just don't get wrought iron like we used to. So, so if you have some of those really great quality pieces, be on the lookout, hold them tight and close to you and incorporate them into your accessories and decor because this is going to be a major trend in the next couple of years. But right now, we're still looking at it and considering it dated. The next thing we have to talk about is actually light wood tones. Right now for 2023, everyone is saying dark wood is back in. They're definitely correct and I love dark wood. So I'm all here for it. But if you have a lot of light wood tones in your house, like for the last three to four years, white oak has been like the thing, the wood, everybody wants it. So we've all got a little bit of it. Maybe some of us have, maybe not all of us, that's okay. But if you like this, keep it and layer in some darker wood pieces. Look for some of those Victorian pieces. They layer in really beautifully. You know me, I have that light flooring in my house and then I juxtapose it with mahogany furniture because that's what I really love. So I've got a little bit of both and I don't feel like I'm missing out on any because I've got the dark wood that's in and I've got the light wood that makes the space feel bright. You probably have that too. So if you've got a lot of dark wood happening in your space, consider maybe adding in an interesting lighter piece of furniture 
are. And if you've got all of that light wood, those white oak floors and cabinetry in your home, look to juxtapose them with maybe some dark stained wood stools or even a casework piece of furniture that's maybe vintage or an antique. That's a great way to bring in a little bit of that dark wood trend, uplift some of the lighter wood that maybe is not the number one trendy thing this year. You don't want to be in a position where you had all your light wood floors stained and now you regret it, or you do not want to be that person that painted your wood furniture. We're not even going to talk about that right now because... Oof. Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you let me know in the comment section down below and share with me what is one thing everybody is telling you is dated but you absolutely love and you just think everybody is crazy and they probably are for saying is dated. Uh, can't relate. Be sure you take a moment to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. I also know that you know someone that they are redecorating, they are furnishing their house, they are looking for what's in, what's not, and what's the latest trend. Share this video with them because friends help friends and I will see you in the next one.